So one of the things that I think sets nothing apart is its design language across the whole system. Um, I would love if, if we could start by talking about the glyph matrix, this dot matrix display. How does it kind of evolve nothing's quirky design language and what kind of information or interactions can users expect from it? So nothing's previous phones, um, they've all had this uh, sort of light up um, interface these like scattering of LEDs um, on the back that the company's called the Glyph. And previously, they've basically been a little bit functionally useless. They just sort of flash if a, if a notification comes in. But otherwise, there's not a whole lot of meaning there. And with the Nothing Phone 3, they've essentially clustered those together and put it into this little dot matrix display that sits in the top right hand um, of the phone. Um, because it's an actual little display, uh, it can actually show things, little little pictures, little bits of text and stuff. So it's functionally a lot more useful because it can actually show maybe the time, maybe it will show the name of an incoming caller, um, but it's also thrown in what it calls the, I think the Glyph Toys, um, various little kind of mini games that you can actually use to interact with the phone. Um, but one of the ones in particular that sort of stood out to me uh, was a way of playing spin the bottle just using the Glyph Toy on the back of your phone.